Welcome back to the last question of this series where we find the equilibrium constant from experimental concentration measurements. We ended off with question 4 which reads, the reaction of CH4 in the above example is carried out at a different temperature with an initial concentration of CH4 that is 0.087 molar. At equilibrium, the concentration of H2 is 0.012 molars. Find the equilibrium constant of this temperature. So just to recall, the equation is shown right here, and the equilibrium expression that we found in the previous question was shown here. So I'll rewrite that. Now that we've covered that, let's rewrite the chemical equation. We had CH4 and two of those yields C2H2 plus H2 and the coefficient is three. Creating our ice table, I, C, E. Let's look at the information they've given us. The initial concentration is 0 0.087. And of course, the concentrations of the products at the very beginning should be 0 and 0. Furthermore, we're told that the equilibrium concentration of H2 is 0 0.012. 0 0.012. That being said, we can actually go ahead and change this into 0 0.012. To find out the equilibrium concentrations for this and this, we first need to find the change in the concentration for H2, which we can then relate to the other molecules. And to find the change, we use the formula C plus I is equal to E. C plus I is equal to E, where we already know E is 0 0.012. We know the initial, it's zero. Therefore, C plus zero is C, and that's what we needed. I'll place that right here. It just happens to be the same thing as the equilibrium. Now we compare. We have three of these to one of these. So we will take this number and divide it by three. 0 0.012 divided by three gives us four times 10 raised to the power of negative 3. So 4 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3, that's equivalent to 0 0.004. And also to compare this to CH4, you can create a simple proportion here, 2 to 3, that relates the coefficients. And this number here was 0 0.012, and we're looking for this one, which we'll call x temporarily. So Cross multiply, 0 0.012 times 2. We'll multiply that by 2. And we end up with 0 0.024. x times 3 is equal to 3x. We divide both sides by 3. So we divide this by 3. And we end up with x being equal to, the decimal version is 0 0.008. So this number right here is 0 0.008. We can find out the equilibrium concentrations for this molecule and this molecule using this formula again. C plus I, 0 0.008 plus 0 0.087 gives us 0 0.095. Over here, if we add up this number and that number, well, it's going to be the same. 0 0.004. And now we'll place these numbers, this number here, raise that to the power of 2 eventually, and this one is 0 0.004. Using our calculator, 0 0.004 times 0 0.012, and that's being raised to the power of 3. That then gets divided by 0 0.095 raised to the power of 2, and we get 7.65, and we need this to two significant figures, 7.7 .7 times 10 to the power of negative 7. That is your constant. And there you have it. That is how to find the equilibrium constant from experimental concentration measurements.